First down, here's a play action and a comeback pattern. Oh, no, it wasn't either. Tight ends. I was, I was, it is the tight yeah. end. Yeah, well, you just know what's going to happen. The interesting thing is you can't do this without a dynamic wide receiver, and they've got one in Julio Jones because Auburn must commit a safety and a corner to him. They'll come right again. Big hole. Here's Coffey. Out to the 47. Three split wide right, one to the left. And John Parker Wilson out of the spread. It's Auburn sending three defensively. There's the pass. It's caught at the 41-yard line. The catch made by number 15, Darius Hanks. Ooh, that... Uh, it's one of, the, one of the toughest things about the two division parts of college football now conferences is when you have two good teams in one side and one not-so-good team in the other. John Parker Wilson caught. Wow, Julio Jones knew he was going to get popped in the back. Four rushing touchdowns in the last four games for John Parker Wilson. He appears to have it. And he splits the difference between Marlon Davis and Antoine Caldwell. The Gators have averaged 53 points per game since their loss to Ole Miss at uh, home. Tebow might win the Heisman just for his speech. I agree. And there's the run by Coffey. This is his son. This is from 37 yards out for the first points in the game. His weakness is low kicks. High snap. Kick is up. And the kick is good. Third and 11. They got Jones if they want him. Oh, do they ever. He goes right. There he is. Wow, the defender playing way yeah, off I didn't of it. Yeah. Didn't get that one at all. At uh, six foot four, and that's a 15 yard gain. First down and 10. And off, Coffee. Nice move. Here goes Coffee. Touchdown, Alabama. Should watch Shad Johnson direct this defense from his safety position. He is something else. Burns there. Eric Anders, number 32. Mark Ingram splits wide to the right on third and seven. He's at the very top of the screen. Out of the spread. Four-man rush, John Parker Wilson steps up and is caught. It'll be fourth down. Brad Lester is on, did not play last week. And number one is not going to get the handoff. Cody Burns shakes the sack and slides out at the 36-yard line. Second down and three. Tristan Davis is in the backfield with Lester. Lester goes left. He's got a first down Auburn across the 40. They fight on every short play. On second down, blitz coming from the corner. Burns keeps it, cuts up the middle, and he's going to have another first down as he reaches the 44-yard line. 106 to go. Burns back, left side, caught to the 35. Down to the 32-yard line. Catch was made by Rod Smith. They also will use a new field goal kicker today. He's never tried a field goal in a game this year. There's the pass, and it'll be third down at the 24-yard line. Walk-on sophomore on third down. Burns for the draw play. Now then, See, 14 that, seconds to go. That completed pass really took the strategy away from Auburn. They didn't want to blow their last time out. But it was third and short, and they knew they had to run the ball. So now they had to take a timeout for the field goal. He might make a memory with this one. 40-yard attempt. Clayton Crowfoot is the holder, and Robert Shiver will snap it back. How about that? Nick Saban took a timeout oh. to freeze the kicker. I wondered. I, it looked like it was perfect. I never saw any signal from the officials. So Morgan Hull 
I'm gonna have to do it again. Now it's his second kick in the iron ball. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no pressure on this one. Officially, this is from 39 yards out. And it's blocked. And it is blocked. Brandon Dederick. Well, chalk that one up to Nick Saban. Yep. That was a tough Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Here's Brad Lester coming right and skips out of bounds with a nice run to the 40 <laughs> yard line. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Second down. Football. Ball is loose. Kareem Jackson forced the hit. Alabama has the football. Rolando McCain, number 25, with the recovery. And it gives Alabama a first down at the 39-yard line. See the graphic. Auburn has uh, turned it over 11 times with fumbles. Here's John Parker Wilson. He's got a man at the 10. Nikita Stover. It's senior to senior. And there are only nine of them on scholarship. <laughs> First down and ten. Here's Whitworth that preceded Bear Bryant, by the way. Here's the handoff left side. It's Fannin. And Fannin is popped by Javier Arenas as he gets near the 39-yard line. Burns for the day is 5 of 14. He'll keep this one on the ground. It's Fannin going left. And Fannin does pick up a first down as he crosses the 45. Javier Arenas, Justin Woodall with the tackle. And the other is, if it ain't broke, you're not looking hard enough. And I think Tommy Tuberville said, I want to get better. It didn't work out. First down and 10. Still Fumble not, again. Still not working. Who got it? Alabama got it. Two turnovers in two possessions. It's Terrence Mount. And our thanks to him for all the cooperative visits we've had over the years. Third down. Here's John Parker Wilson. Short little screen. There's Andre Smith out there to lead the way. And it's going to be a big, big, big game for Mark Ingram and the Alabama Crimson Tide. That's a game of 27. On third and six, here's John Parker Wilson. Right flat, dangerous pass, but it's complete. Julio Jones with a first and goal, Alabama. You know, you know what number hits me right now? As Cody comes into the game, big 62. Terrence Cody did not play high school football until he was a senior in Fort Myers, Florida. Academic problems. He didn't qualify at Division I. He spent two years at Gulf Coast Community College in Perkinston, Mississippi. They were 12-0 a year ago. Same play. They ran last time for a touchdown. Boom! <laughs> touchdown. There was nobody for Cody even to block. First down and 10. 